Alright guys, so in a previous video I talked about an electromagnet that I actually had installed underneath this table um, and I got a few messages from people asking me to do a video on it so here's my video on it so um, I primarily cut artwork on a CNC plasma table and this particular magnet has saved me so much time cleaning up these things to get them ready for powder coat the great thing about these is I don't have to deal with a clamp that's going to be in my way whenever I'm grinding this thing so that's a major time saver um, if you don't have a welding table with the holes in it you have to normally bring this thing to the edge of the table you have to clamp it down grind a little bit move the clamp move the piece grind a little bit so I put this magnet underneath the table and that's what holds this piece down while I sand it so let me show you a quick example here so I've got this magnet underneath the table it's uh, somewhere in this area here so what I do is I turn the magnet on kind of hear it uh, clip up to the bottom of the table there but now it's sucked down to the table it doesn't move turn the magnet off Move, no problem. Turn the magnet on. Now it's locked into position there. Um, I only have one magnet in this particular area. If I wanted a stronger magnet, I could spread this thing out, get two points of contact on it. But this is, I've had this magnet for probably four or five years now. Um, so let me show you how it works here. So just cleaning up the face on this thing with the grinder. As you can see, it did not move at all. I didn't have to mess around with adding any clamps to this thing. Uh, let me go ahead and show you with a different tool on here. <clears throat> Turn the magnet off. Piece comes out, no problem. Magnet on, locked in. And you can use this magnet for basically prepping any type of uh, metal project that you're working on. Locked it down in place. If you're working with uh, <clears throat> a piece of tube that you wanted to drill into, um, if you wanted to de deburr some stock angle iron locked down in place there I can work on it magnet off let me show you what happens when the magnets off magnet on As you can see, it's a huge time saver. Um, I got a hold of the person that was selling these kits, and um, we agreed to do a coupon code. So if you use my coupon code, it's MCM10. You're going to get 10% off the kit. I will put a link in the description below on where you can purchase these things at. <clears throat> but if you have a metal table, this is just completely invaluable. Um, another thing to mention, if you have a metal table with a really thick top, you're going to get less of a magnetic pull from this magnet. So this particular top on my table is 3 16 so it doesn't uh, diminish the magnet very much. If you have a thinner top, you're going to get even better magnet uh, force out of it. So in this next clip, I'll show you guys how to put this thing together, and then I'll also show you a picture of what the bracket looks like underneath the table that I use to hold the magnet in position until it's ready to be activated. All 
All right, guys, so this is the three components that you're going to get in the kit. You're going to get the electromagnet, very large. Um, you may have to cut the wires on the end and strip them. Black wire, white wire, and green wire. I'll show you how to wire that to the transformer. You're going to get a foot switch, a toggle switch, blue, and a uh, brown wire on that. And then you're going to get a 120 to 12 volt transformer. One thing I will say about this, so when you get this hooked up, you're going to want to put this transformer in, a, in an area where it's not going to collect dust. Uh, metal dust will short this thing out and your magnet won't work anymore. So what I actually did was I put mine in a uh, plastic container. I cut a couple holes in the side for the wires to run out and that just keeps the dust out of this. I've had this same transformer for I think five or six years now. <clears throat> So, first thing you're going to want to do is get you a Phillips. Um, you'll see on here, got a couple different options. So, AC input, that's what you're going to hook your switch to. DC output is what you're going to hook the magnet to. So, you have an L, which is line, and then you have an N, um, which is neutral. And then on your DC output, you have a ground, which is that little logo right there. Let's see if I can get the focus. Okay, and then you have voltage negative, voltage positive. This particular transformer allows you to hook up two um, components off of the same transformer. So these ones, you're just going to want to use the same, um, you're just going to want to use one of each. So what you'll do first is the brown wire on your foot switch here is going to go to the L. And you want to strip these back. They may may already come stripped. I'm not really sure. Um, twist these together so you don't get any small wires sticking out. And then you're going to take your Phillips screwdriver. Loosen that up. And if you hold these things upside down, um, there's a small like washer clamp on there. And if you hold it upside down, it makes it easy to put the wire inside of there. So what you'll do is you'll take the brown wire first. That's going to go into the line. Push that in there. You can flip it around now. Okay. And then tighten that down. And just be careful you don't over torque these. It is easy to strip these out. It doesn't need to be that tight. Okay, and then the blue wire right here is going to go to neutral. Another thing too, if you loosen this too much, it can come off of um, the nut in there and you can drop these things, so be careful of that. You want to make sure whenever you're tightening these in that you don't have exposed wires outside of this channel here that can potentially ground out. Um, so and then this is your magnet wire here. Like I said you have a black, a white, and a green. Again strip those wires back, just twist them together to keep all the little um, stranded wire together. And then on that you're going to be looking at the ground negative positive so loosen up your ground the ground is going to be the green wire on this The white is going to be neutral, and that's right next to the ground there. Slide that over. Okay, so this is a good example of what you don't want. Let's see if you can see it there. See, um, there's a small wire that's outside of the screw. Okay, so I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to twist that together a little better. And I'm going to make sure that this is opened up wide enough so it doesn't do that. Okay, so loosen it back. 
push that wire all the way in there. Okay, and then the black wire. If you notice, there's two negatives right here. The black wire, you have to get on to a positive. Let's move that all the way over to a positive. Okay, camera cut out. So I move that wire to the... Uh, v positive the black wire tighten that down check your connections you can kind of tug on a little bit make sure they're not loose okay <clears throat> and then you simply just plug this into your wall here plug that in so now whenever you press that pedal it's going to activate the transformer and it's going to make this magnet live so you can see there's a small green light on here. Switch on, switch off. So that's making this magnet right here hot. So switch it on. Switch off. Switch on. Switch off. That's a very strong magnet. That's how you're going to wire this thing. Uh, again, like I said, <clears throat> you want to put this in an area where it's not going to get metal dust on it. But you also want to keep it cool. That's why there's so many holes in this thing here. Um, and then you can mount this switch up under your bench or however you want to do it. So thanks for watching. And I will put a link in the description below on where you can purchase this at. And you can use my code MCM10 and get 10% off of your purchase. Um, so, like I said, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.